Are you an insane? No, Dad, I'm not. I can't seem to get the sound effects right. Hey, kid. Daddy, no. Daddy, yes. I heard you were struggling with sound effects and music. You killed my family! Well, this is your lucky day, kid. Because today, I'm gonna show you... Ah! ...how to edit sound effects and music in Premiere Pro. This is gonna be the second video in my new series, where I show you everything an upcoming YouTuber should learn to become more successful on nice. YouTube. Now, what we're gonna to learn today is how to find, download, and import different sound effects and music. Then, we're gonna learn how to fully optimize the audio levels, and once we've done that, we're gonna go through some effects and transitions to really make our audio as succulent as it can be. Here are some examples of sound effects and transitions that we're gonna to implement today. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that Nobody understands what you're saying. Right, let me just go clear my internet browser real quick. Don't want anyone seeing this midget animal. Alright, I, I know these aren't the best examples, but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> Step 0 0.5. Have your clips imported and cut them down in Premiere Pro already. If you don't know how to do that, then have a look at this video at the 2 minute 11 mark. Finding our music and sound effects. Alright, to edit our music and sound effects, we're obviously going to need some music and sound effects. Which brings us to an absolute gem of a website, Lick. Licked is a music licensing platform that allows you to download and use high quality mainstream music and sound effects. With Licked, you can access over 1 million mainstream tracks and 100,000 stock tracks to use in your videos. Searching for music on Licked is easy. You can search by genre, mood, tempo, or keyword. So for this tutorial, I searched for energetic drum and bass music and found Pendulum Watercolor. Shout out to my Need for Speed Hot Pursuit crew. And an absolute banger from the UK drum and bass scene, Off the Ground by Subfocus. Using licked music in your videos can also help increase engagement, retention, and ranking. As we all know, videos with music are more engaging, and with licked tracks, they are not only high quality and well known, but they also give the professional and polished feel, all whilst your channel is protected against copyright. Once you've found the track that you wish to use in your video, click on the license button located at the bottom of the screen, and then head to checkout. Then you are able to download the track and import it into Premiere Pro. So if you want to take your videos to the next level, try Lick today by using the link in the description for 14 days free stock music music and 50% off your first mainstream tar track. Now, if you're also looking for a more specific sound, let's say from a meme or a video, you can search it up on YouTube and get it in whichever way you want. Once you have your sound effect, simply import it into Premiere Pro and drag it into the timeline where you want the sound to play. All right, step two, optimizing the audio levels. Now, usually when you import a sound effect or music, it's either too loud or too quiet. So what we can do is check that the audio is in the green range on the audio meter to the right of the timeline. If the sound is too loud or too quiet, then you can press G on your keyboard to bring up audio gain. Then either decrease or increase the decibels to a more appropriate amount. Or you can click on the sound effect, go to the effect controls in the top left and decrease or increase the audio level. Now as a general rule, you want to turn down the volume of sound effects and music if it isn't the focus of the shot and then increase the volume of whatever is in focus. I'm sure you've seen some of those YouTube shorts where you just can't hear what anyone is saying because the music is too damn loud. All right, audio effects. Now this is the fun bit where you can really start to get creative. This is where the fun begins. If you really take your time exploring and implementing this step, then you can really make your edits stand out. Premiere Pro has loads of built-in audio effects that you can really spice up your sound with. From various reverbs that make you sound like you're shouting from a cave, to a high pass, which makes you sound like you're coming from a telephone or radio. All right, boys, our mission objective is to find out who the Asked. We have low pass, which makes you sound like you're on the other side of a wall. Oh, yeah! If you're looking for something a bit more robotic, you can use a combination of low pitch shifter and an analog delay. Hey, bro. Nice c Another tip, by the way, you can use is to reverse audio. To do this, simply right click on the sound and click on speed and duration. Then you can mess around with the following options. Just click on reverse speed to reverse the audio. Feel free to mess around and get creative with the different audio effects options to find out something you're happy with. Step four, transitions. With transitions, we can fade in and out songs and sound effects. And if done correctly, the viewer will hardly notice it.
Yeah, you see what I did? I bet you didn't notice that. To fade in a song, go to effect controls and drag the audio level to the lowest option. Then go forward a couple of frames by using the arrow keys and set the audio level to zero. Now, if you have a song that you want to fade into another song, you can drag a constant gain onto your timeline, which will create that smooth transition. Also remember to save. So there you have it. I hope these tips and tricks will make editing sound effects and music a little less painful. And if you have any other tips, then leave them in the comments below. Now subscribe. <laughs>